and welcome to another Baxter012 gaming video. I just recorded the first episode that went for quite a long time. Um, that was quite a big episode, but um, we're going to try and stick to the 30 minutes. I know I was I said I was going to make episodes longer, but not that long apparently. Um, so yeah, let's just get back into it. We're here. We're just about to go face the, um, the bear again. Yeah, let's... Hopefully this, uh, this bear doesn't kill us, because, uh, that'll be, uh, pretty bad. Um, yeah, I just hope the bear isn't outside. Uh, okay. Hopefully I can, you know, use my rifle skills to shoot at the bear, and hopefully that will save my ass. Couple. Right, let's just get on the jog. Let's try and get some space between me and the bear. Or I'm closing the distance between me and the bear. That would be uh, very bad. Um, but how is your Monday going? Um, leave a comment down below. Tell me how your Monday is going. I'd be very interested to know. Um, this is the second recording of today. So... Um, yeah, I'm doing alright. I'm sitting here happily making uh, some recordings for you guys. Um, yeah, let's go... I don't know if I want to go check out the, the radio tower yet. Like, I feel like that's a lot of climbing up mountains. But I think the lookout could have some cool stuff, so... Let's, let's go check it out. I've, you know, been regretting not exploring, you know, because we walked completely past it all last time. But I feel like the lookout is going to help us out with seeing this entire area, seeing where everything is. Um, we might even see, like, a, you know, fire that um, might be our friend. You try and find out where she is, how she's surviving, because, you know, this is what we're doing. We're trying to find her. Like, she could be literally anywhere in this, you know, vast open world. Okay, I feel like I'm going the right way, but I don't know, so we're just going to keep going. But I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I'm enjoying it. We're on Chapter 2 now, so... You know, we've got ourselves a weapon, we've got ourselves a friend that's, um, injured, but we're, we've got some medical supplies for him. We're gonna make our way to him, but we're just gonna go check out the lookout, and then we'll, um, we'll go check it, we'll go check in with him. Oh, and we'll also go check out the, uh, the camp, the, uh, camp place. That's also, uh, something we need to do. Go see what they have. They might have some supplies and stuff like that. Stuff for for us to survive and hopefully help our friend out to surviving. Okay, why can't I go with this? Maybe this like isn't the way to go. Maybe I'm just like doing a dumbass thing and just not going the right way. Yeah, I don't feel like this is the right way to go at all. Like, there has to be some sort of way to get up, because, you know, it's all the way up there, and I don't see... I don't see a way to get there. Or maybe I do. Oh, we're getting close to it. Just gotta keep hiking up all this stuff. Okay, I need to... Because we have a uh, food poisoning. I need to take some antibiotics, because... My dude is, uh... Why didn't that work? Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. Maybe let's take this. That treatment didn't do anything. Are you f freaking kidding me? What do I do then? 
Let's try these ones. That didn't work. Okay. So, we might need to go up here and then, I don't know, rest or something. Damn it. I wish I didn't eat that crap in the, the last episode, because uh, it's not paying us off very well right now. Come on. Strafing. There's some stairs. Just how do I get over to those stairs is... Ah! Ah! Sprained ankle. Pain. Oh no. Oh damn. Oh shit. Oh shit. Take painkillers. Use on foot. Come on. Come on. Bandage. Okay. We got this. We got this. We can make some bandages. Okay, this is definitely not the way you're supposed to go. Alright, I just wasted my time. Ah, god. Okay. So, I see the stairs, so we need to go around and... Try and find where those stairs go, so then we can make our way up to it. So, this is... Time and resources that I'm putting into this. Not working well. Where is the way up? I feel like I'm climbing all the way around this mountain, and like, I can't find the way up. This is stupid. That's not good. Oh, what the f- Are you serious? Oh, god damn it. <sighs> we are just butchering ourselves up trying to get up this stupid mountain. Okay, and then let's use some painkillers. Left foot. Use it. Right foot. Okay, now we're good. Are we just- are like we just- something is sapping my energy. My food poisoning! Ugh. Okay. Let's get up to the top of this, cause, you know, I'm guessing the more injured we become, you know, the less, um, energy. Uh, make it. So we just need to. We just need to get up, get into this tower. Oh God! We're losing energy. We need to find somewhere to sleep. Oh damn it! 
Here we go. Here's the stairs. We almost made it. Come on, 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 come on. We can do it. I believe. We might just need to get into there and then just sleep. There's this stuff in there that we can uh, we can use. That closed door. Let's rest up. We need the rest. Oh god, guys. Woof. Getting a bit intense there for a little bit. But it's also night, so I'm gonna sleep for another showers just so I get myself to daytime so we can travel during the day not the night so yeah okay here we are this could have stuff that we need emergency stim bandages painkillers restocking die if I don't drink something soon oh shit all right yep should probably do that first believes it takes a whole soda can for him to be hydrated. Kind of annoying, but oh, what can you do? Okay, so all of our afflictions are done. This is eventually a source of knowledge, but not yet. I was looking for it. Legible knowledge. Arrow pointing to the large X. Okay, let's just get down this stupid mountain because, you know. Although it was. This is nice. I have places to be. So. We're all warmed up, we've got our food. We've got our food mostly the way up. Um there's the radio tower. But the thing is broken. Okay. Let's make our way back down to the, the railroad and then just keep heading, guessing south. If the map is like north, you know, north south, um, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this game, guys. It's, uh, <laughs> I can't say it enough. It's very interesting. It's got that look to it that just, um, you know, appeals to my kind of gaming. And all that sort of stuff, so you know, we're gonna we're gonna just keep going, we're gonna enjoy this game and that's a cliff. Okay, that's obviously not the way down. This is the way down, maybe, possibly, looks like it. Uh, 
Okay. Let's try and find the little, like, camp HQ place. Because that's, uh, that's another place, so I'm guessing around that boulder. It's going to be the... Camp office. Yeah, I'm right. It looks so big on the map that, like, in actuality, it's quite small <laughs> of a distance. Follow the power line. Oh my god, how did we miss this? <clears throat> it's like little outhouses or something on the river? Okay, maybe it's like part of the camping thing. Mystery lake. Lack mystery. Lack a mystery. Oh, wee wee. Okay. Right here. Well. Oh, this is cozy. And it's got an upstairs. Why did it look so... It looks so small from the outside. Thank goodness. Um, map, newsletter. Okay, how much space do we have? Not much. Okay. Let's take like literally the bare necessities. Chair, cool. Search filing cabinet. Nothing. Stack of paper. Delete this. Come on, what are you doing? Key to lake cabin. Okay. We well, might need to check the lake cabin out later. I want to get back to old mate to help him out. Could end up being useful. What purification? Mine. Fishing hook. Ooh. Okay. Workbench. Okay. Is that... Yes, I can sharpen the axe. Oh, no. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize that was the door to the outside. Okay. Back in we go. And these, uh... These things are helping us warm up as well, so... Empty. Damn it. Okay, just a lot of food and... Sewing kits and stuff like that. Stuff that we don't need. Let's check up here. Whoa, this place is messy. I could use this. No, it's not gonna help. You think you say, oh, this is this is helpful. It's like no, it really isn't. Thermal underwear. So at least we're warming up somewhat. Okay, so socks and all that. Not much. Search the cupboard. Anything in Wonder if this is any good to eat. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken it. Where is it? Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, goddammit. Okay, I think we've searched through here enough. Let's uh, let's keep going. Let's get back to old mate and uh, help him out. Hopefully, the oh, if the bear's there, I'm gonna be mega pissed. Okay, so, oh, damn it, wrong one. All right, just gotta go back the way we came. 
This is good. We're making progress. I'm excited. Entering a new chapter. You know, new people. This is this is what we like. This is what we like from a game. It's constantly keeping us on edge and wondering what's next. Obviously saving the game because uh, something's gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna be fun. That's a tree. Okay, I was like, all right, still on course? Yep, still on course. All right, on the jog, just a little bit. I was a bit sketched out by this tree because it was like brown, and I was like, oh fuck, is that the, is that the um bear? I was like, surely not. over this little ridge. I think I went over this side of it. I'm guessing, yeah, I, I reckon we'll have to sneak past the bear and like try and get to the cabin because I, I, I honestly feel like he's right there. <laughs> We're just gonna walk out and he's just gonna be sitting there and, yep, he's just not going to let us have a fun time. Right. Check the old map. Should be able to see his cabin. Maybe not. Alrighty. So, um, we're gonna try and keep these, uh, recordings to 30 minutes, but we're also gonna... I'm gonna try this week and do, you know, two recordings per day. Um, you know, see if I can do it. If, if not, we'll just, you know, keep it to, you know, two recordings, or two episodes, I should say, every, um, you know, two days. Like, I'll, I'll see how I'm going, you know, tomorrow and stuff like that, and I'll, I probably will, you know, get out some videos, because, you know, I keep, you know, I want to keep playing this game and, you know, get the content out to you guys, so, yeah, let's just, um, let's see how we, how we do, because I want to, you know, try and keep uploading more and just keeping, um, keeping the content rolling, so, um, yeah, let's, um, Hopefully we can uh, do better, get some uh, get some more videos out. And I I did say I was gonna get back on the meme reacts and all that sort of stuff. So I might you know I might do meme reacts. Oh, oh. dog shit! Oh, that's smart. Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious, too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. It means you're going to need some time to recover. Time? <laughs> you don't have time. You need to get a message out. <clears throat> it's important. <clears throat> message? You mean to your friend? Asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. Okay. The 
That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Ugh. Damn it! Well, the parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? Uh, something to do with the power. <laughs> Fuses. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bear's out there. Hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out. Getting supplies. Finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us. Or starve us out. Ah! Oh. I gotta lay down. Help me back to the bed. So, let's start with the bear. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Ah. Me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? Each other's blood, mostly. Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. The dam was pretty busted up, like you said. The place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. It was already half dead at the time. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But the bottom fell out of the price of coal, and he had to abandon those plans. Some fool tried to get it running again in the 80s, but then the forest talkers got involved, and that was the end of it. Pretty sure the quakes finished the job once and for all. The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. Ha! <laughs> you won't find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. This is someone important to me. A woman. She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton, but then... I'm not sure. Well, the roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed, you'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path, even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit, nothing town. North part of the island? Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or... Contact her. See if she's all right. I'm sure she's alive. Yeah. I'm sure. Well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. But I might have an idea. Yeah? You said you had an idea. What do you have in mind? Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Another radio. 
We might find another radio. But I think I have a better idea. Problem is, it's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio, and our survival, is through that bear. We have to find a way to deal with him first. Okay. Well, let's, um... Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... That's because the old bear is special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, magic? <laughs> don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. But we need the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story. A local legend, maybe. About one of the original settlers of this place. Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family have been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing, and they find him, just a body, ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away, like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her, eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear, like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days. And then one morning, the wife's fever breaks. But nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him. And they find him. Half dead. Blood all over him. Body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear. Or any other. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? What? No. Of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear, and you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're gonna survive the winter. 
The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. It might be our best hope. And the radio? You deal with the bear, and let me worry about the radio. <coughs> now, let me rest. Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. Right. All right. So that was an interesting story. That was uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, looking into the fire and seeing the uh, the story. So in the next episode, we'll go get that spear. We'll uh, go defeat the bear, hopefully. Um, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you go down in the description, like and subscribe, turn those bell notifications on so you get notified when I upload. Make sure to also go check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. They'll all be linked in the description below, so go check them out. Make sure you also go check out my No Walkers channel. That's where me and a couple of mates will be posting content ever so shortly. Um, but yeah, this game's getting more and more interesting. You know, the whole plot is starting to you know, put itself into place. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Hopefully it will be on Tuesday, but might be Wednesday. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday, and peace. Now the pale morning sings of forgotten things. She plays the tune for those who wish to overlook the fact that they've been blindly deceived by those who preach and pray and teach. But she falls short in the night.